Hello, I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> oh, I just bloody deleted the one that I've just done. The second bit is like... Thank fuck, it's Friday tomorrow. Oh, hello, there's lots of spiders out there on my uh, Virginia creeper. I've hardly got any window now. <laughs> it's nearly all covered. <laughs> Anywhere, anywhere, see? Oh, I'm tired, I am tired now actually. Where are we up to? Meds, we're talking about meds. Um, okay, meds, side effects. Um, we covered that, didn't we? I think, did we? Oh God, I don't know. Anyway, if you, just to recap, if you do have really bad side effects from your meds and, um, Please read your leaflets as well when you get your meds because something there might just be something that you suddenly get and think, oh, that's not normal. You know, it's like me. I'm the one in 100,000 million billion that gets the rarest side effect ever. It is, it is always me. So just a heads up, read your leaflets because then you know what you're in for, kind of. Um, right. Don't you hate it when you... Ugh. Okay. Rest. Rest is so important. Listen to your body. I can't go far. Now, I went to the village Fate, which is not that far away. It's at the castle, um, the castle ruins um, in our village. And I had to go in my wheelchair. Mr. Dory had to take me in my wheelchair because I just could not walk that far. So... So I have a wheelchair, two crutches, two knee braces, two back braces, uh, a pelvic brace, um, what else, a neck brace as well to help make sure that my neck is straight because I get a lot of pain in the back of my neck here at the top. And I'm waiting on an MRI to see if um, I've got degenerative disc disease up at the top as well. Nice. So, um, yeah, I do need a lot of supports and splints, um, walking sticks, things like that. The crutches I got were... I've actually bought my own crutches now because I found hospital crutches so hard to use and they hurt like hell. Oh my God, they hurt like hell. Oh. Um, the other thing that I wanted to share with you, which if you've watched me before, you'll know, but I love volunteering. Um, I usually volunteer in school or care home, something like that. So I, I give something back to the community. Um, Nemo school is a normal mainstream school but he does have a one-to-one -one. Um, I go in there quite a lot um, and do some reading with the children and just help out generally which you know I love I absolutely love it I adore it it gives me a sense of purpose which I felt I feel that I lost a long time ago um, when I was first diagnosed with all my many, many different illnesses and chronic illnesses and pain and fatigue and <sighs> this, that and the other. Um, the other thing I want to share with you is my Bible. Can you see that? Fibromyalgia for dummies. And that's no disrespect at all but it is fantastic. It covers everything, okay? It was written by an MD 
from a professor of medicine in the University of Florida um, and a medical writer, Christine, oh gosh, Adamek, uh, and the professor was Roland Staud, I want to say, S-T-A-U-D, but I got this off Amazon, um, I think it was about nine-ish pounds, something like that, um, but it's brilliant, it's got tips, hints, you know, things to do, what to do if you're feeling manic, um, you know, if you've got more, if you've got mental health issues like I have, I do get manic episodes, um, as well as fibromyalgia attacks at the same time. Now, what I find works for me is distraction. If I can distract myself enough, it, it does go. It can be an hour, it can be two hours, it can be a day of mania. But if I get a fibro attack as well, then it's horrific, horrific. It, it, I, I can't explain it. it, you just, you're not yourself, you're, you're like a crazy person. Um, obviously, Trisha, you know all about this because you've got bipolar and fibro and you get it at the same time, apparently, don't you? So you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say, you know, when I say you feel like a crazy person because you're in pain and yet, you you know, your body's telling you no, but your, your brain's telling you yes. Um, so that, that's one thing that I find really difficult. But volunteering, I love. It, it's just... I do it once a week at the moment. I'm registered. I've just registered with a company um, to do it, going into another school um, to do reading with children. Um, and you have three children, the same three children, for an entire year. And then the next year you have another three children. So, you know, and you can do it for as long as you want. Um, with the company, it's two days. Um, but with Nemo School, it's just an afternoon, it's just a few hours, and I can manage that. But with the meds, I'm feeling better, and I'm feeling that I can do more as well. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's that's something good for me. That gives me a sense of purpose, a sense of something to do, you know, a reason to get out of bed if I'm not feeling so good, if I've not had a great night with Nemo or if I've not had a great night myself. So, you know, all I've got so many flipping DBSs downstairs, <laughs> a file of background checks, enhanced background checks. I'm like, yes, yes. It's quite funny now, because it usually takes two weeks, but now they, they literally come the next day as soon as somebody's sent it off, because they know who I am now, so it's quite funny. Um, at the end of this now, what I'm gonna finish with is a clip. Um, and it was sent to me by a friend and I'd like to share it with you. Um, I'm hoping I'm not going to get a copyright strike. Uh, I don't think I will. Um, it isn't a company. It isn't, there's, I don't think there's any music in it. I'm going to check it before I add it. Um, and I might speed it up a bit just to sort of get through that sort of, bit. Um, I will put a fair use disclaimer up as well, um, just to cover myself. But yeah, um, I'd like you to watch it please because it will help you understand if you're new to fibro or if you're not, just how much fibro does. But yeah, if you've got fibro or chronic fatigue, chronic pain, they do chronic pain, they do lots, lots and lots of different ones for dummies, it's not just fibromyalgia and it's not, they don't mean it in a rude way, you know, it's tongue in cheek but it is so informative and it will help you, it really will, okay, so for now, much love from me to you, keep swimming and remember there is adventure out there. Fibromyalgia. I bet you're wondering what the hell that word means. Well, 
I'm not posting this video for pity or sympathy. But yes, it is for attention. Attention to this chronic syndrome that tears people's lives apart. Experts say that fibro is essentially a problem within the brain, not the actual musculoskeletal system. But isn't the brain a powerful thing? It controls every single thing we do, feel and say. It's the motherboard. And in people who suffer from fibro, their muscles and soft tissues are chronically affected. There is no one test that can tell you you have this, nor is there a cure. For the past six years, it has stolen so much from me. It began as tension headaches that felt like a thousand elastic bands around my head. Crying in the emergency room, barely able to articulate what the hell was wrong with me. So many blood tests, x-rays, MRIs and CT scans. Nothing shows up besides doctors asking me whether I'd been in a car wreck. That was the only explanation for how much pain my neck and my head was in. Massage, chiropractic adjustments, acupuncture, cupping, osteopathy, oils, rubs, tinctures, natural pain patches, specialists, opioids, and prescription drugs. You have dragged me through everything I can think of. And although some of these options help, they are needed so often that it's just not affordable. I started taking painkillers when I couldn't take it anymore. The dirty looks I'd get and the things people would say to me would make me cry and hurt even more. You should aim to be on no medications, you know. Yes, I do fucking know. And if that was an option, do you not think I would take it? It's like you have been a fire in my body from the start. And you keep burning up and just burning everything you can find. I can't tell anyone where it hurts anymore. Because you make it hurt everywhere. Sauna's like you've been punched. Skin irritation where you can't even tolerate a hand on you. Hot sweats, irritable bowel syndrome that makes it hard for you to even leave the house some days. You made me need to quit my job for fear of killing myself. Even though the dark, ugly demons are already there in my head, you provoke them. You push and push and push till there is no escape. You make it so that I am an angry, irritable, unpleasant person. And I hate that because I know inside that's not me. It's you. And how do I get rid of you when there is no fucking cure? When my own doctor tells me that I will become the, my own best expert in my condition, that's when you lose hope. When you can't even handle three long days of work in a row anymore because you're going to lose your mind at the end. When you feel so tired all day, but then you keep me from sleep. You have made me feel like an overreacting hypochondriac for as long as I can remember. You make me cry every single night in pain, knowing that I can't do anything to make you go away. And I see the tears and sadness in my boyfriend's eyes when I say, if this is going to be my life forever, then I don't even want to live it. You have 100 different faces and I can't handle them all. You took away exercise from me. I used to love long walks and hit training. But slowly you've stolen it all away. You have made it so the only comfort I get is from food. And now I hate the way I look on the outside too. You've torn every piece of me and I'm at a loss on how to sew it back together. You are invisible, you are conniving, you are misunderstood and untaught to the medical profession, but I will tell you this, you cannot have my life. 
you will not take it over. Not without a damn good fight. Thank you.